Welcome to my presentation. In this presentation, we shall see proof of constant multiple rule. So, let us state the function let, let y be equal to a constant times a function f of x like that. Then, I'm going to we're going to apply the derivative formula of limits and then write it out as follows. We know dy by dx, which can be written out as limit as h approaches 0, f of x plus h minus f of x, this whole thing divided by h. That is the that is the formula and applying the given function into the formula we can write it as follows now limit limit as h approaches 0 we're going to now apply the given function in here c times f of x plus h c is a constant in here minus the given function is c times f of x, the whole thing divided by h, like that. Now, if we, when we look at this, c is constant in, in, the, in the numerator part of this, so therefore I'm going to write this one as limit as h approaches 0, open brackets, I'm going to take out, uh, pull out c as common in the numerator part, and then write this one out as follows or I can uh, let me back up here and I can write I can write this as follows I'm going to take the C outside of the brackets and then write this one this one as f of x plus h minus f of x this whole thing divided by h this is the same thing as saying that the constant is, uh, uh, is since we are multiplying a function to a constant we can pull out the constant all the way outside like this c times the limit as h approaches 0 f of x plus h minus f of x this whole thing divided by h so therefore this whole thing is in fact f primes of this is the first derivative definition if we if we recall that is the first derivative definition so we can write this one out as equal to c times f primes of x f prime of x so therefore let me let me uh, write here what, uh, some more things if y is equal to a constant times a function like that then then dy by dx is going to be equal to c times the first derivative of that function the derivative of a constant times a function is the constant times the derivative of the function that is another way we can say it in words so this is our proof this is our proof let us take a simple example based of this let us take a simple example the example in this example if we have if y is equal to 7x to the power of 4 7 is a constant and then we have a power function x to the power of 4 we want to find let me write here find dy by dx we want to find the first derivative of that function so what do we do we're going to find the first derivative dy by dx is going to be equal to 7 which is outside which is a constant we're going to use the power rule only for x to the power of 4 and then here in here uh, for the power rule n is equal to 4 so according to the power rule we go when we use the power rule we're going to say 
the first derivative of x to the power of n is going to be n x to the power of n minus 1. That is what we're going to use here. n is equal to 4, so therefore 4 times x to the power of 4 minus 1. Close, bra close parenthesis. So therefore, 7 times, when we simplify it some more, we can write this one as 7 times 4 x to the power of 4 minus 1 is 3. So when we simplify this some more, we're going to get this one as 7 times 4 is 28 x to the power of 3. And that is our answer. That is where we want to leave it. Okay. So if I were to take another example, as a very simple example like this, in this case, let us take a, a negative number, negative 5 x to the power of 3, for example. And if we want to find the, the derivative of this function, we can do it as follows. dy by dx is going to be equal to negative 5 times x to the power of 3. Here, n is equal to 3, so 3x three to the power of 3 minus 1. So therefore, we're going when we simplify it, negative 5 times 3 is negative 15 x to the power of positive 2. So that is our answer. This is where we want to leave it. This is how we use the, the constant multiple rule to be able to differentiate functions of this nature. In my next presentation, we shall see more examples using constant multiple rule.